A stack of magazines and a cup of coffee. It must be Sunday. Hey, it's Care. Welcome to Montec at the Lake. I say coffee, but I switch to green tea, but then I miss the coffee flavor. So now I make what I call cough tea. <laughs> it's part coffee, part green tea. Today I have some grass-fed butter and a little bit of olive oil in it. So it's my own version of bulletproof coffee. Very tasty. I also wanted to show you this. I've been wanting this forever. I love the colors. Welcome to the dog house. And there's four paws representing my four beautiful Bostons. And I just love it. And I just thought I would show it to you because it's nice and bright. And, you know, sometimes we need a bright spot in our day. I just love it. It was, it was, and it was on sale for half price. That's what I was waiting for. Yes, indeed. So, harvesting not just any magazines. These are from the hashtag Harvested Mag Swap that I'm doing with Jean Bainey and Amy at Doki Doki Forest. If you're new to this, or if it's been a while since you've heard about this, this is an open collaboration that the three of us came up with and have been doing since August and we're coming in on the home stretch with it. The idea is I go through my magazines over and over and over again because I'm always looking for different stuff for different projects. Can other people find stuff in the magazines that we have already harvested? How much marrow can we squeeze from that bone? How much juice can one fruit give if we just keep squeezing and squeezing and squeezing that fruit. So what happened was I chose five to seven magazines for Amy and five to seven for Jean. I harvested each pile myself, got what I wanted out of it, and then I sent Amy's to Amy and Jean's to Jean. Then they took, then they harvested what they wanted out of it and then sent them to each other and we all did that so it's been around robin times three times four it, that's too much math for me did you hear my brain just melted that's way too much math anyway these are the magazines that i originally sent here's the map i had to draw myself I harvested them. I sent them to Jean. She harvested them. She sent them to Amy and she harvested them. And now they're back here with me and I'm going to harvest them today here with you. Is there anything left? Yeah, there's, there's quite a bit of stuff here, but is there anything worth taking? We shall see. Grab yourself a cup of something yummy and let's see what we can find in here. And what I noticed when I was harvesting the first time around for this open collaboration, and what that means is feel free to play along. Find a crafting buddy either in your hometown or somebody that you've connected with online, whether you have a YouTube channel or not. Harvest some of your favorite magazines and then have them do the same thing and switch because you'll get just so many different things. I got, Amy sent us opera news. I never saw the magazine before in my life. Uh, Jean sent us Daphne's diary and she sent me the artful blogger book, magazine book thing, it, exquisite. So you, you're gonna get a lot of different stuff. So it's an open collaboration, which means anyone can play along. If you do do a video, tag us in and use the hashtag HarvestedMagSwap so we can see what you're doing. We're having great fun with this. It has been just a hoot. And I encourage you to go ahead and play along. Hey, Bits, come on in. You gonna sit with me? Come on in. Well, come on in. So let's, let's get to it. Oh, and if, if you don't have a, a YouTube channel and you don't want to make a video, you can always post 
to our Patreon. Amy and I both have Patreon pages. I don't think Jean does, but you can post pictures to us there and we can see them. Jean looks in on us once in a while on Patreon, so she'll be able to see them there too, I think. So let's see what's in here. I've already seen a couple things that I uh, really want to take. And another funny thing, when I was watching Jean and Amy harvest the magazines I sent, I kept thinking, I can't believe I left that there. How did I miss that? I hope it's still in there when I get them back so I can snag it. The other funny thing is when we harvested the first batch, we were really ginger in that we were, well, I think Amy would like this, so I'll leave it. I really like it, but I think Amy would like it, so I left it. Or this looks like something Jean would just be jazzed about, so I left it. But they didn't take it. Sometimes they did, sometimes they didn't. But I think the lesson we all learned in this is take what you want <laughs> when you want it because they they probably won't even notice it. So I'm ill-prepared. I don't have my ruler or my scissors out. I'm going to take this sweet on pie. That's fun. Oh, snot. You know you can buy this stuff now? on Amazon, you can buy little droplets of this sticky, snotty stuff that comes off like a dream, but sticks like a crazy glue. You can buy that now at Amazon. I'm very happy about that. Sweet on pie and have a sweet holiday. I think I'll take that. Oh, not my favorite. Now I'm the last one. This is as far as it's going to go. And I'm going to throw some things out <laughs> this time around because sometimes we we just sent whatever left was left a page or two here you'll see throughout here there's just hardly anything left to some of these magazines which is fantastic we are making the best use possible out of these old destined for the landfill i like this whole thing i like the chopsticks and i love squeeze the day so i'm gonna take the whole page and cut it out later this is the butter I have in my coffee. Kerry Gold, grass-fed, made in Ireland. Love it. I don't know if it's made in Ireland. I think it is. It's an Irish brand. Living well, gonna take that. Might as well take the Kerry Gold too, because, because. Taking the Hot Wings bottle. Bad thing about these food magazines is I, I just had a wonderful breakfast. And uh, this looks really good. I could eat again. That's terrible. <laughs> oh, I know what I need. It's been so long since I've done this. I'm ill-prepared, completely ill-prepared. I need to, I'm spraying my paint rag here, getting it nice and wet so I don't have to lick my fingers and to turn these pages. Hero worship. Look at that. Ooh, simmer down. I was just reading some comments in other people's videos because I do that a lot. And I think it was Magic by the Ocean said, yeah, I just left a comment over at Krabby's place. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, that's, the, that's where we're at. If it wouldn't horn in on Christina, I'd say that Krabby Shack, but that's, that's too much like Christina's shack. Um, we're calling it the Krabby Crafter Clubhouse. That's it. That's what we're calling it. I love those lights against that dark sky. So I'm going to take that minus the people. There's this great wintry pick on the back. Ah, that's a maybe. I don't know. Another way to know that it's Sunday, in addition to harvesting magazines and coffee, you might hear the TV in the background. I have one of my very favorite movies on. On Saturday, I watch horror movies, scary movies from the 1970s and early 80s because they just don't make them like that anymore. And on Sunday, I like to run, oh, the Sleepyheads brunch. That's awesome. I like to run black and white movies. Reminds me of being a kid at my grandma's house and watching the old black and white TV. One of my favorite movies has Lucille Ball in it. What a beautiful woman. She was so pretty. It's a love story, but it's about a serial killer. It's fantastic. It's called 
Lourd, L-U-R-E-D, Lourd, and it is free on YouTube. Make it merry. I'm going to take that. Ooh, party Leica. I like that. So I'm going to take that. Party Leica. Boston Terrier. Party Leica. Rockstar. Party like you're 13. <laughs> oh, that looks yummy. What is that? Doesn't say. Main event. And I like that one little flower up there. This would be good on a green, green page. What's on the back? Oh, more green mushrooms, but we'll take that instead. Talk about being hungry all the time. My aunt and her husband own a barbecue restaurant, or they did, and it was a block and a half from my house, and they have a smoker outside, and every day they were smoking the meats for the restaurant for the day. Oh my God, I was hungry all the time, all the time. It's very festive. May as well take it. There'll be other Christmases and other Valentine's Day. Oh, that's fun. Red, white, and ooh. Or oh, red, white, and oh. <laughs> country Almanac. I think this magazine was from a country collectibles that I sent to Jean. I don't know what year it was. I'm thinking it's from the 80s. I love this Jiffy box. Don't know why, just want it. So, I'm taking it. Oh, that's a vintage typewriter he's got going there. So I'm gonna take that. Oh, and there's a lantern, so I'm gonna take all of that. And I remember looking through this when I first got it and thinking, mm, there's really not much here. For me, I think Jean will really like it, so I didn't, I don't even know if I took anything out of it. I love backgammon and checkers. That's a really cool table. Snow cones, that's awesome. So I'll take those for some vintage fun stuff. Just words, I'm not gonna worry about those. I guess this is the See what I mean? There's not much left to it at all, which is awesome. But there's the staples, so I know that this is how it opens. Lots of Victorian stuff and dolls and... And, uh... Man, we decorated the bejesus out of everything in the early 80s. And now everything is so minimalist and white and, you know, clear the space. I'm gonna take this for my friend Leanne. She's a big Dolly Parton fan. So I'm gonna take that for her. Don't tell her though. Shh, it's a secret. <laughs> well, I'll give her the whole page in case there's something about Dolly on there. Too bad these weren't in color. They're awfully cool. Oh look, Lord, Lord, I'm gonna take that. I love that. We were just talking about. That's how the universe works. I love the universe. The universe and our brains, how they work together. Ah! Vintage shoe collection. Vintage shoe ornament collection, because they're not really shoes. And I tore it. But I can fix it. I'm going to take this for the words, the bookshelf. Collectors I might be able to use someplace else. These are kind of neat images, which is why I pulled it out. But I really like do blank speak to you. I'm going to cut that out and put something other than collectibles there. I don't know what. Do Boston speak to you? Yes. Yes, they do. Do dogs speak to you? Yes. Yes, they do. Look how much crap is in, like there, there isn't an empty space anywhere. All I think about when I see stuff like this is, ugh, to have to dust it all or to keep it clean. Yuck, yuck, yuck. I'm so glad we moved away from this fill every corner, fill every space idea of decorating because it's overwhelming now. 
wowzer. But someone might just love it. Love, love, love it. So I'm going to keep that. Might as well keep this, this one too. Because it's very pretty. Jam-packed and dark. Jam-packed and dark. <laughs> I have a couple very dark projects. Uh, dark meaning themed, very dark themed projects that you'll see me pulling items out because I've seen a few things in here already that I know I want to grab for those and, and they all happen to be specifically for those darker themed projects. <laughs> More on that sometime in the future. I'm still collecting and that takes me a while so when I get my stuff ready you'll be the first to know. I don't know what these are, but there's a truckload of them. It has to have something to do with tatting or weaving or something. It was here somewhere and now it's gone. That's funny. Oh, a beautiful little elephant and some birds. Are they starlings? Maybe? I don't know my birds very well. Decorative bobbins. That's what they are. Decorative bobbins. Now we know. I'm gonna take the guide. The guide to alcohol. The guide to creature comforts. I don't know. Whoops. All right. Not even enough to use as a glue book left here. <laughs> ah, isn't that great? That's what's left of a magazine. Like, we have harvested the bejesus out of it. There isn't a full page left. That's getting the most out of your... The most bang for your buck. Now this is an AARP magazine. I'm going to take I Am from this Kellogg's ad. I'm going to take In Love. I'm going to take The Jitterbug. I wish it was in a more of a fun font. but So I'm seeing these magazines with all new eyes. Honestly, when I first got the magazines back... I recognized a few and then I thought, hmm, no, no, these aren't mine. This isn't mine. And it took me a while to remember what had happened. And I put that story in another video, so I won't repeat it here. But there's so little left to it. They were unrecognizable. And it's been since August. So, you know, it's been a bit of a time. I kind of like that little clip art, but I don't know what I'd do with it. I kind of like that little clip art, but I don't know what I'd do with it. So I'm going to say no, and then a month from now I'll say, dang, I wish I had that finger with the string on it. So do I take what's new or switch? I will go with what's new, I guess. Taking a lot of words this time. That's all right. It can all be used. Oh. So I'm going to eventually take what's new there. And I'm going to take Late Bloomers, and I'm going to take Lives Well Lived. There's some vintage goodies, a little bit of throwback. Can you name them all? I can name all but one. So that's fun. I have a Rewind magazine right next to me here that Amy sent me. I'm going to put that with that because it's the same color scheme. It's the same time period. Turmeric. I just made... My mom sent me this morning a turmeric latte recipe, and I just made this morning turmeric scrambled eggs. And my friend last night sent me a picture enjoying a cup of turmeric bliss tea tonight. So I must have to take that. <laughs> I'm going to take all of them. I love the cherries and the caffeine, not so much the soy or the alarm clock. But I am gonna I'm going to take my two cents because... You know, that's what this channel is all about. My two cents. My take. Now, I do remember seeing this and not being the least bit interested, but for whatever reason today, the money and the signatures and the love me tender, going back to the money, even though it's an Elvis thing, and the signatures on the window, I just really like it. So today I'm taking it. A few months ago, I didn't care about it. 
hanging around. You do that a lot at the lake. That cottage, just hanging around. So when I'm done here, when I have all these piles, then I sort them into my, all the different lake journal, dark journal, green journal, color book. I just make all kinds of piles. I clear off every flat space in my kitchen and my uh, my dining table and my, everything. I just make as many flat, clear spaces as I ca as I can, and then just sort them like you know, deal them out like cards, playing cards. That could go in the red glue book. And this one could go in my daily glue book or I have an all about me glue book I've been collecting for but haven't started yet. All my favorites, things that I just really love, like a collection of things that really speak to me. That's what every glue book is essentially, but some more than others. Like my daily is just cool stuff I find on a daily regular basis. Forever Young, I call my cousin, she's 10 years younger than me. And every year on her birthday, I call her and play this song by Rod Stewart. Even though this is about Bob Dylan, Rod Stewart has this song, so I'm gonna keep that because I love it. I love this. It's a portrait of Bob Dylan made up of pictures of Bob Dylan. Very cool. I love art like that. Brewing Success. Oh, it's a coffee bar. I was hoping it was a like a microbrewery, but... coffee. Time to learn. It's always time to learn. I won't do the cuddle down because I've done several of these. I Once you order something, you get a thousand of them a, a year. So I won't redo that one. But they have beautiful things in there. I will certainly include some of them in, the, in my glue book kits. I have junk journal starter kits for sale. Stash refresher kits for sale and glue book play kits for sale. Uh, they are each $15 plus $11 shipping and handling through YouTube, through email and PayPal. Information will be in the description below and how to let me know you want one, etc. As much as I can cram into a flat rate envelope for you and your interested area, I will do that. I have junk journal starter kits, which is a lot of blank stuff, papers and of various ages, etc., etc. I did a whole video all about that. I'll link that below so I don't have to go through it here. But the difference between a stash refresher and a junk journal starter kit is the junk journal starter kit kind of has blank stuff to build on, and the stash refresher kit has fun stuff to build with because people who aren't new to this have a lot of blank stuff. They have papers and book pages and things like tickets and stickers and that kind of stuff and don't need any more, but Stash Refresher, some pictures from my collection, some my favorite things, some things, some stickers and materials and things that I've collected in my thrifting that you haven't found or that's different from what you have. And then of course, glue booking stuff, some magazines and images that I've picked out that I won't use but I think somebody might like. So here we go with Reminisce. I love those blue letters either for my ransom letter collection or I have a project for that. I love the horses in the fall scene so I'm going to keep that. I love Fiesta wear. I don't have any but I love the colorful nature of it. So this this would go in a glue book or a red page in another book. Singer Freddie Boom Boom Cannon holds the records for the most American bandstand appearances at 110. When I worked at the newspaper, I did a, a news story about we have a quarry here in town and every weekday they blast. And I did a story about what that blast is and it was a great big full page, what we called C-section feature story. And my editor put by Carrie Boom Boom Miller on it. 
<laughs> and that kind of stuck for a while. I thought it was great. He wasn't the most creative guy in the world, but he sure knocked it out of the park with that. It was so fun, and I got so much fun feedback from that. It was a hoot. Look at there. Beautiful blue Les Paul. Mm-mm-mm. I'm going to take that. I have a couple of vintage spreads. Oh, but look at there. More blue. I'll have to figure that out. Either that or this and this. I don't know. Oh, this is fun. Federal minimum wages through the decades. 1938. You had to pay your workers 25 cents an hour. Today, in 2017, minimum wage was $7.25. We'd all starve to death if they were still doing that. I'm going to take that. I love that. Oh, more beer stuff. Jean Bainey just, well, she sent it to me a really long time ago, and I just opened it fairly recently. Oh, I don't believe I didn't see this. Or maybe I didn't harvest this one before. Miller Beer, Miller Brewers, Early Brewers. Look at the dog. There's a Beastly, and they're all drinking beer in the backyard. Oh, I love this. The Golden Age of Brewing. I love this. This will go so well with all those beer things that that Jean cut out for me. <laughs> That's quite the find. Very excited about that. Hippies in the Haight-Ashbury. Very 60s, peace, love, very cool. I love cash on the spot, that's really awesome. I'm gonna take that, what's on the back? I wish there were more of those leaves up there. I'd take that, but there's not that, not enough to worry about. Look at all the bride and grooms. Brides and grooms, huh. Picture of 1953, that's pretty cool. And I know someone's screaming, don't throw out Elvis and look at that old car. So there's the old car. Where'd Elvis go? There's Elvis. Those will glow in, go in my glue book. Kits. Some fun cars. A Lexus, a little blue Lexus. I could take that for my colors glue book. Yeah, I'd rather have a Lexus than a Kia or an Elantra. So I'll take the Lexus, leave the Kia and the Elantra behind. Thank you. Anyway, these kind of make good, again, Marguerite Miller type tables, different things like, like the numbers and the scales. These make really cool, just little bits of it. Not the whole thing, maybe the whole thing, but cut out little squares that are some numbers and some symbols. Very fun. This would be fun for a green glue book page. There's colors in here, but they're so tiny, teal and purple. Um, so I'm not gonna take them because they're too small. If he wasn't standing there, I'd take the bike. Oh, there's a Beastly. Even though he's tiny, I'm gonna take him. I try not to leave any dog behind. I know we're well past this, but I'm gonna do a Krabby Crafter left turn here. People wearing masks half off their face, just covering their mouth, I wanna punch them in the throat. What is the point? You breathe through your nose and your mouth. It all, you're spewing stuff out either way. The masks go, over your nose and over your mouth and double them up and those little paper masks are about useless. If you're gonna wear a mask, wear a real mask and wear it all over your face like it's supposed to go. Same thing with bike helmets. People wear them on the back of their head like an Easter bonnet. They're supposed to, this thing is supposed to jut out over your face to protect your nose from going up into your brain. You don't wear them on the back of your head like a hat or a sunbonnet. They go, they're, they're a brain bucket. They're, they're there to protect your brain, not your hair. Ugh! P. 
people, mom and dad will be on their bicycle, no helmet, and make their kid wear a helmet, but put it on like a stupid, it's loose. So if the kid falls, it's going to fall right off. And if the kid falls on his face, his nose is going to be smashed up into his brain. So it's not going to help at all, except make him feel self-conscious, especially if he's having to wear one and you're not. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm back. Let's get on with this. Cleaning your exercise equipment. Cleaning after COVID. I love this. It's nice and bright. And it's kind of a fun, you know, it's an odd clip art. But it's colorful and I like it. So I'm taking it. Freshen your washer and dryer. I really like this. I remember liking it the first time around, so I'm going to take it the second time around. Fourth time around, it's still here, so I'm taking it. I just think it's really cool. Arsenic for my dark projects. I'm going to take this blue 73% for my blue page. Blue pages, I'm sure I've been collecting for the glue book for so long, I'm sure I'm going to have mega pages for every color. I should just start a book for each color and just work in it that way. Right. Oh, I love Grumpy Cat. Grumpy Cat. He's wonderful. Take him. That's a cool picture. Born to ride. People in their motorcycles. Parents were gold ring wing riders for a lot, a lot of years. Traveled all over the country on their motorcycle. Hauling its little trailer. Smithsonian, we're almost done. Smithsonian, the guys with the big eyes. I, uh, I still don't, he's, uh, he's, I'm not crazy about him. <laughs> he kind of freaks me out. So I think for future use, instead of wetting a rag like I have been doing, I'm going to get a sponge just for this purpose and wet the sponge so I don't have to keep re-wetting it like you do when you have to put a lot of stamps on a lot of mail. I am still collecting stuff from my uncle's military nautical thing, so that will go good in there. The slow that shit down. The Great War. The broken bodies that came home might make for a more useful memorial. I like that. I like the colors of that and that it's a wood stove. So it might go on a red, red glue page. I like this old picture. And I'm taking the words, the Great Lakes. I think this would go good in my uncle's military book. Beautiful old painting. Ooh. <laughs> I think I'll take that. I'm taking high expectations. Beautiful texture in that rock. Those rocks. That's really cool. Panda coins. So cute. If you ever see this, it works. I did this not too long ago. Last year sometime. Maybe a year before. But I, I filled out this little coupon. And I put a real $1 bill in there. And they sent me... A boatload of stamps. Of course, they put you on your mailing list. Afterward, you have to call and cancel. Get them off, get off their mailing list. Otherwise, they send you. Buy this, buy this, buy this, buy this. Every five minutes. But it, I was so surprised that it, it actually worked. <laughs> and the last one. Ducks Unlimited. The girls were kind of upset about this because they thought there'd be a lot of dead ducks, which there is. But a lot of the ducks are in flight and they're beautiful. I'm surprised Amy didn't take these cover ducks. She's got a thing for ducks, you know. <laughs> I'm going to take the ducks. How about them apples? Beautiful truck. I'll take that for my glue book. 
my blue pages in my glue book and I'll take that word from my green pages in my glue book. Power! I really like this picture of father and son by the bonfire. Just love that picture. Now I have two. One for father and one for son. I like the word the mission. Beautiful paintings. Oh, look how nice. Mission accomplished. I'm going to take that artist and his palette and drawing and finished painting for my art junk journal. So there were some beautiful dogs in this Ducks Unlimited book. I took those early on. He's too tiny and you can hardly see him. Beastly and Beastly. Might be the same Beastly. And we'll take these pictures from my nephew's book. Coming in on the home stretch here. I took it for top 10. I should have taken the whole thing and I could have cut these out. These would make great ransom letter letters. Well, there we go. Fourth round, fourth round, and look at. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at all the stuff I got. Just to recap, this is all stuff I got from magazines that I harvested, Jean harvested, Amy harvested, and I just harvested again. Because I'm seeing things I didn't see before. I'm a different person today than I was in August when I did this the first time around. It's all different. Everything is different. I have different projects, different ideas. It's all different. And so every time you... That's why when you read a book for the second time around, it seems like a new book. Or you see things you didn't see before because you're a different person. Even if it's 10 minutes from now, you're a different person than you were 10 minutes ago. Isn't that fascinating? So now I get to sort all of this stuff into their perspective piles and all adding to my my projects that I've got going. I still haven't decided about this one. If you're not sure, eh, let it go. So if you're still here watching this, bully for you and I appreciate your time. It's nice to just chill and watch a long video once in a while. We can't all be watching shorts and shrinking our attention spans by the second every day. It's nice to just chill. I have one more stack, the ones that I sent to Amy first. And then I will be done with my part of hashtag harvested mag swap. Again, open collaboration. Feel free to play along. Harvest some magazines, share them with a friend, and see what y'all come up with on the second or third round. Today's a really good day to take extra special care of your beastly. Go love them up. Mutt to get the leak. Out for now. <laughs>